Scottish Fold Cat vs. Maine Coon Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? There is nothing a Scottish Fold named for their folded ears likes better than to be with their people, participating in whatever they are doing. Scottish Folds come from Scotland, and they can all trace their ancestry back to a barn cat named Susie who had folded ears and worked as a mouser. The Maine Coon is a native New Englander, hailing from Maine, where they were popular mousers, farm cats, and most likely ship's cats, at least as far back as the early 19th century. With the way their small ears fit like a cap over their rounded head, the Scottish fold is often described as resembling an owl. The ears range in appearance from a single fold, bent forward about halfway up the ear, to a double fold, somewhat tighter, and the triple fold, lying tight to the head, which is desirable for show cats. Kittens are born with straight ears, which may or may not fold when they are about three weeks old. Wide open eyes gaze out at the world with a sweet expression. The medium-sized body is also rounded, completed by a medium to long tail that sometimes ends in a rounded tip. A short-haired fold has a dense, plush coat with a soft texture. The long-haired variety has medium long to long fur with breeches, longer fur on the upper thighs, toe tufts, a plumed tail, and tufts of fur on the ears. They may also have a ruff around the neck. The Scottish fold comes in a number of colors and patterns, including solid, tabby, tabby and white, bicolor, and particolor. Eye color depends on coat color. For instance, white and bicolor cats can have blue eyes or odd eyes, where each eye is a different color. A Maine Coon is a big, rugged cat with a smooth, shaggy coat who looks as if they could put in a full day mousing on a farm in all weather conditions. Indeed, they were built for just such work in the harsh Maine climate, and their breed standard reflects their heritage, calling for a medium-sized to large cat with a well-proportioned body that is muscular and broad-chested. A Maine Coon has substantial, medium-length legs and large, round paws, well tufted with fur, to serve as snowshoes during winter. A heavy coat is shorter on the shoulders, longer on the stomach and breeches, long fur on the upper hind legs, with a ruff in front and a long, furry tail waving a greeting. A medium width head is slightly longer than it is wide and has a squarish muzzle. Large, well tufted ears are wide at the base, tapering to a point, and large, expressive eyes are green, gold, greenish gold or copper. White or bi-colored Maine Coons may have blue or odd eyes. The brown tabby pattern is so common in this breed that many people don't know Maine Coons can come in any other colors or patterns. They might be surprised to learn that Maine Coons are found in solid colors that include black, red or white, all tabby colors and patterns, bi-color such as blue and white or red and white, and patterns such as tortoiseshell and calico. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. After their ears, the first thing you will notice about a Scottish Fold is their habit of posing in odd positions, flat out on the floor like a little frog, sitting up for all the world as if they were a mere cat on a nature program, or lying on their back, paws up in the air. And although you might assume that their ears are less mobile than those of other cats, such is not the case. Scottish Folds use those ears to communicate quite effectively, adding comments in a quiet, chirpy voice when necessary. This is a smart, moderately active cat. The Scottish Fold enjoys teaser toys that test their agility and puzzle toys that challenge their intelligence. Their favorite activities include anything that involves human interaction. There is nothing a Scottish Fold likes better than to be with their people, participating in whatever they are doing. They're a sweet cat who enjoys attention. The last thing they want is to be left alone for hours on end, so they're not the best choice unless someone is home during the day or you can give them the company of another cat. Rest assured, however, that they will expect you to play with them when you get home from work or school or at least sit down so they can get in a little lap time or curl up next to you while you watch television. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically a lap cat, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or wadded up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. 
Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. Comb the Scottish Fold's coat weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A long-haired fold may need to be groomed a couple of times a week to ensure that tangles don't develop. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles and what's called a grooming rake to pull out dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe the Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly, especially if they are tightly folded. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50-50 to -50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean, as well. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The friendly, laid-back Scottish Fold and Maine Coon is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.